Hey yo, what do YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, and as you can see by the title of the video, what I got for you today is some more NBA 2K22 Next Gen. More specifically, what I got for you today happens to be the best demigod 672 waypoint guard build. Now that was a mouthful to say, but trust me, when you see this build, it is insane. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of you, a lot of you have been asking me to make a build that's a lot taller. So I figured, hey, seeing as point guards happen to be the most OP position in this game, I might as well make you one of the tallest point guard builds you'll see in the game. Now, because of doing that, I had to gain some inspiration for the build and decided the inspiration for this build will be LaMelo Ball. Mainly because for those of you who've seen this man play, he is different on the court. He is like Lonzo with a lot more fluidity in his game and the boy is unstoppable. But um, before we get into today's video, I just gotta say thank you to everybody that's been showing support to the channel. Recently, YouTube sent me a message because low-key, somehow y'all had this thing blow up over the past few days and I just gotta say thank you for that. But to all the people that are watching the videos and aren't subscribed, what I gotta say is if you're new to the channel and ain't subscribed yet, go ahead and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below because most of you know we're trying to grow and hit a thousand subscribers by the release of 2k23 that way we can start purchasing bc and putting hella money into this game and showing you what the builds look like when we have bc in them and if you like today's video and you want to see more content like this whether it be nba 2k22 gameplay nba 2k22 build videos or just generally anything go ahead and do me a favor drop a like on the video because it lets me know that you actually enjoy this content and if you don't like the content do me a favor also drop a dislike you know what i'm saying it lets me know you don't like the content and uh, if you have a specific build you want to see me make or you have a general comment that you want to make in regards to how to improve the build or you just generally have something you want to get off your chest, do me a favor, go ahead and drop that down below in the comments because I do respond to as many of you as I can, which happens to always be all of you. But yeah, getting into the build, as I said, it's inspired by the one, the only LaMelo Ball. He is a point guard for the Charlotte Hornets, right-handed. You know what I'm saying? Even though that jump shot makes it look like he's either-handed. And uh, where's the jersey number two? Now, height-wise, LaMelo does, does come in at about 6'7 and weighs about 180 pounds, which I'm not going to lie for a guard is really light because John Morant's like 5 inches shorter and weighs 6 pounds less. But uh, wingspan-wise, we'll be putting it up to a 6'9 wingspan just because anything below that doesn't allow us to get gold pickpocket because you require an 86 steal for that. And then body shape-wise, we will be going with compact because he is skinny in frame, but he does have a little bit of muscle to him. Now, because it is a LaMelo ball build, the first things you gotta mess with is the playmaking. So we're gonna max out the ball handle to an 85, speed will ball to a 78, as well as the pass accuracy up to an 85. Because if there's one thing you can say about LaMelo, his ability to read the floor and get the ball where it needs to be is impeccable. So, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure that playmaking is up there with the up echelon of point guards. Now, in total, this allows us to have 26 playmaking badges along the lines of Hall of Fame glue hands break started downhill, which I'm not gonna lie, Hall of Fame downhill does apply to him, as well as gold bullet passer, gold handle for days, gold tight handles, gold stop and go, gold special delivery, gold space creator, and silver unpluckable and silver quick first step, and silver floor general. Now obviously if we did have a little bit more points to spare, we would upgrade this a little bit further to give him Hall of Fame on all playmaking skills because that is the majority of his game, but yeah. The second key thing to LaMelo's game happens to be his ability to, you know what I'm saying? His jump shot. I'm not gonna say the word because YouTube apparently hates when you say the S word that ends with the H-O-O-T, but we will be saying LaMelo Ball happens to be one of the nicest jump shooters to have come out of the draft last year, outside of, you know, maybe Anthony Edwards and them boys, but yeah. You know what I'm saying? The boy won rookie of the year. Now, the first thing we'll max out will be his three ball because majority of people in the park do mainly just shoot threes. You rarely see mid-range jump shots and giving us an 87 three ball. And the next thing to put up will be his mid-range jump shot where we will put it up to an 80. This is mainly because we want the ability to get 27 shooting badges along the lines of Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Sorry, not Hall of Fame. Gold catch and shoot, gold circus threes, dead eye, hot zone hunter, limitless spot up, stop and pop, as well as set shooter. But also because we get Hall of Fame slippery off ball, sniper, lucky number seven, corner specialist, clutch shooter, volume shooter, and fade ace, and silver difficult shots as well as blinders. Which, trust me, when you work it all out together, it really does do a lot. The next thing to mess with will be the finishing. Now, the key thing on these builds is everybody loves to have contact dunks because contact dunks in this game are one of the funniest things to see and most entertaining. So to get that, we're going to have to put the driving dunk all the way up to a 92 as well as putting his vertical up to an 80. One thing I didn't know was with guards under 6'5", you do have to put this up to an 85 to get small contact dunks. I like to say a big old shout out to the comment section from the John Morant build because y'all taught me that and I re really never knew it before that. 
The next thing to mess with will be his driving layup, which we will be putting up to an 84 because for anybody who watches him play, he is really, he has a real nice touch when it comes to finishing at the cup. Let's just say it that way. Now, we will be putting his close shot also up to a 66 because we need it to get 21, you know what I'm saying, finishing badges. Without it, we can't. Now, the finishing badges we finish with along the Hall of Fame lines are Pro Touch, Put Back Boss, Limitless Takeoff, Slithery Finisher, Teardropper, and Unstrippable, and the gold ones being Lob City Finisher, Posterizer, Silver, along the lines of Mouse in the House, Fast Twitch, Relent, Fearless Finisher, and Acrobat, and then Bronze, Grace Under Pressure. I don't know any point guard that really runs Grace Under Pressure. You tell me if you do, but if it were me, I'd go with Limitless Takeoff, Acrobat, Slithery Finisher, Posterizer and maybe Pro Touch, depending on how many bash points you get. Now, the next side of the ball to really mess with is I'm going to put the physicals up because I'm not going to lie, I should have done these initially. I will be maxing out his speed and his Excel. Psych. I will be putting the speed back down to an 80, and then I will be putting his stamina up to a 90. This is kind of low for me because for most of you who watch the videos know, I usually put this up to a 95, but trust me, for this build to be an elite two-way player, we cannot have everything that we really want. So the first thing to mess with will be his perimeter defense, which we will be putting up to an 86 because Lamelo is not one of the best defenders on the floor, but don't get it twisted. He will clap you up when need be. Then we will put maxing out his steal to an 86 because as I said before, anything below this does not allow us to get gold pickpocket. Then we'll be putting his block up to a 69. See, this is where it gets a bit strange because the reason for this is anything below this does not really like... It will make more sense once I get through the rest of the defense and stuff. But uh, next thing to mess with will be his defensive rebound for which will max out to an 81. And his offensive rebounding that I'll put up to a 70. And as you can see, anything below that would have taken away from the total badge count. Now, in total, this allows us to finish with 23 defensive badges. Key thing here being we managed to get Hall of Fame box pause. Meaning this build will be able to compete with anyone inside when fighting for rebounds because if you get the right box out position Ain't nobody getting past you as well as the ability to get Hall of Fame hustlers silver intimidator gold clamps pickpocket pick dodger Interceptor pogo stick tireless defender and defensive leader as well as ball stripper and Hall of Fame off our pest as well as a little bronze chase darn artist if you really mess with this build appropriately, you could make it one of the best mini big man builds in the game. But yeah, that's just my personal saying. Now in total, what we have finished with here is 21, 48, 74, 97 total badge points. But if you do the plus six from passing the last two seasons, as well as the plus four from college, you end up with 103 total badge points. As you can see, evenly spread in great ways that you can really mess with. Now when it comes to takeovers, me personally, with this be build being inspired by LaMelo, the first thing I'd go for is team ratings boost, just because when he's on the floor, he manages to get his team to get going. And then obviously you could choose to go with one of the defensive badges if you really want to, but for me, as I said, inspired by LaMelo, we gotta go with easy blow by because when, when that boy gets past you, he gets past you. Now, what 2K says we have happened to build here is none other than a two-way threat the likes of Lonzo Ball, DeJounte Murray, and LaMelo Ball. I see it from all three because all three do play this way and all three are great when it comes to either side of the ball. Now, you tell me what you think of the build down below in the comments because personally I believe this is one of the greatest demigod 6 foot 7 point guard builds in the game. Yep, Crumpton Oats hit me up with that word demigod again, I dare you. But yeah, if you like today's video, don't forget, do me a favor, go ahead and, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel and you ain't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below again. Because as I said, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers for 2K23. And don't forget to drop a comment down below. I really do enjoy interacting with you guys. But yeah, it's been your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.